Hi. Let's see like how we can fix Curge Forge stuck on forging your library. Curge Forge is a popular platform for modders and game developers to share their creations with the gaming community. However, sometimes users encounter an issue where Curse Forge gets stuck on forging your library process. This frustrating problem can hinder the installation and updating your mods. The full error message reads something like forging your library. In this article, we'll see and we also explore the possibilities of the causes behind this particular issues and we also see like how we can fix this particular problem. So let's see like why CurseForge stuck on forging your library. Sometimes when you are using CurseForge, you may encounter a problem called forging your library, getting stuck. This can happen because of the bug or glitch in the CurseForge software itself or due to the conflicts with the other software in your computer. Another possible reason could be the slow or unreliable internet connection, which is necessary for CurseForge to work properly. So this is the type of the error what you are facing whenever you are trying to use this application, forging your library and you will see this screen. If your internet connection is not stable or it doesn't have enough speed or a bandwidth, it can cause the library forging process to get stuck. Moreover, certain firewalls or the internet service providers may have a restriction that the interface with the curseboard network connectivity leading to the process getting stuck. Additionally, if we have other applications like mod managers or security software installed, then you might face this particular it's also important to make sure that you are using the latest version of this particular software CurseForge and the installer files are not corrupted as outdated software or corrupted files can contribute to the issue. Finally, when dealing with the large mod packs that require a lot of resources to load, the forging process may take a while. And it's important to be, to be in patience during this period. Now let's see like how we can fix this problem. So the method number one is check your internet connection. So make sure that you have a proper internet connection. Uh, what you can do is like you can follow some of the steps like resetting your modem or a router. The simplest way what you can do is like you can just switch off and uh, you can wait for some time like 5 or 10 minutes then again probably you can switch off your modem or router. Okay, so if the problem persists, you can reset your network settings on your device. Go to the network settings menu and look for the option to reset or the restart settings. Okay, so try to use a wired connection instead of Wi-Fi connection in order to avoid this particular problem or the issue. So also check the wires and the cables are properly connected to your modem or a router and check like if there is any loose connection okay so if there is any loose connection or if there is any problem with the wire or a cable try to fix it or you can call the uh, internet service provider you can just call them and tell them to come and fix the particular issue okay so you can restart your modem or a router for the refreshed connection that's the first method the second method is check CurseBot server status. You can go to this particular website, check if there is any server down or the ongoing server maintenance. This is the particular website. Okay. He cited his site down right now dot com slash status slash CurseBot dot com. Okay. So in this particular website, you will get to know if there is any server down or not. That's the second method. Okay. So if the server is down, then you can wait for some time and the backend team will try to fix the particular issue. 
okay the third method is check for kurtz forge update to avoid such kind of error make sure that you are using the latest version of this particular application or software so it's always better to use the updated version you can go to this particular website kurtzforge.com slash download slash app so here you can download the latest version of the particular gaming application okay that's the third method that and the fourth method is disable the antivirus or the firewall okay see this kind of antivirus will treat these kind of gaming application as a spam or a junk okay and it will not allow you to connect it to the server so make sure that your antivirus is disabled and make sure that your firewall is also disabled in order to avoid this kind of problem what you can do is like go to the control panel click on systems and security and here you can click windows defender firewall and select the appropriate network profile choose the option to turn off the firewall on the select that's the fourth method the fifth method is clear the curse board caches so the best way what you can do is like press windows r so here you can type local app data percentage local app data percentage press ok and here you can locate the curse board folder in this particular list and inside that folder you should see caches folder then right click on the cache folder then select delete from the context now once you press on delete it will ask for the confirmation then confirm the delete when it's prompted once the cache folder is deleted you can restart the password folder that's the fifth method the sixth method is restart your device that's the best and the simplest solution what you can do if you are experiencing this kind of particular issue once you restart your system whatever the problems are there in your system or with the application it might get resolved that's one of the best and simplest that's the sixth method. and the seventh method is contact kurt support support team you can just click on this particular website and here you can visit the website support.kurtsport.com and here on top you can click on request support so here you can type the email id here you can type the subject email id of your login credentials subject means the whatever the problem you are facing and uh, here you can select curse port and here you can see what kind of error you need what kind of support you need your username your project link and the game the game which you are playing in that particular curse port here you can select the operating system here you can enter the entire description of the problem okay and here you can attach that particular file for the error you are facing okay suppose if you are getting this kind of error and take the screenshot of it save it somewhere on, on your system and here you can attach it then finally you can submit this particular issue okay so before submitting here you can also record the issue what you are facing uh, whatever the issue you are facing in your system you can just upload it then finally you can submit it okay so that is how the support team will work they will work on the back end and they will come back to you and they will fix the issue whatever you are facing so once you raise the ticket just wait for some time uh, then probably after some time the back end team will get back to you and they will solve your issue okay so that's all about this thank you